Hello everyone, welcome to join this Nasdaq YouTube channel. I had a couple of videos to show you how to DD Windows OS into Oracle Cloud free tier Linux VM. The method still working very well. Unfortunately, it's actually violating Oracle's Cloud TOS. That will put your account into a risk, even it's very low risk. Actually, Microsoft Azure providing free services, which can be used for 12 months, such as Azure Virtual Machine Linux, Azure Virtual Machine Windows, Managed Disk 264GB P6 SSD drive, and also you can use Azure SQL Database, Azure database for MySQL. It's only valid for free 12 months. In this video, I'm going to show you a way we can extend it to longer than 12 months, which you can keep using it for free until Microsoft stopped your subscription. But usually, Microsoft to keep renew your subscription and give you $100 credit to use. Of course, you also can use those free services for free as well. Now, let's start it. The process is very straightforward. You go to Microsoft Azure services to apply this free trial. So that will get you 12 months free to use all those free services. Before the end of 12 months, you may want to start to looking at education, search education for it. Then here, there's an option you can apply student credit. So with student, as your subscription, you will get $100 credit for free. And also, you can still keep using those free services. Just claim those credit, start free. There are some academic validation process you may need to go through. You may need a school email address. You need to get the education email address which you can apply online from some community universities or colleges to get the free EDU and it email address. So that will be out of the topic from here. So let's take a look this Azure for Student FAQ. So sign up is completely free and even doesn't require credit card. If you used up all your credit, of course, your subscription will be disabled. But, so please don't use the app. But when you reach the end of your 12 months, you still still dent, which you will be. And then you're going to automatically going to be renewed for a Zero for Student offer again. You will be renewed. So you will be notified and you will get another $100 credit for another year. So as you can see, Microsoft confirmed if you are still a student, it still owns that email box. So you will be renewed for another $100 USD Azure credit, and your subscription will be valid. All free service will be continued. So this is the way as to how to get a free academic email address. You can Google online and find out tons of posts and videos to tell you how to get it. After you have those free subscription for student or for free trial 12 months, um, you're going to create in your free virtual machines. I had the previous video a couple of years ago to show you how to create a free tier Windows Linux virtual machine in Azure. Um, I just recently quickly updated so this video is going to continue to update my previous video about how to 
create free tier Azure Windows Linux virtual machine. I will show you all the steps again in the Azure cloud interface regarding how to create in Windows and Linux virtual machines. We know we have to get the Azure for students subscription to use Azure free services year after year. And assuming you already got it, if not, just Google and you will find a way to get the EDU email address and then you can apply Azure for students without credit card required. So here I'm going to show you how to create the virtual machine to use those free tier. In my previous video, I already showed you how to create free tier Azure Windows Linux virtual machines. That has been outdated and I do have a blog post about it. I recently updated a little bit. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create those free Windows VM and Linux VM again in the Azure free tier. So the process actually is as similar as I did before here. So we need to make sure the disk is 64 gig premium SSD P6 type. That's the most important part. Of course, for Windows, you need to choose small disk type. The interface has been changing for the last two or three years. Now I'm going to show you the whole process again. We're going to create a new resource group. Virtual machine. Availability options. So we always choose no infrastructure redundancy required. Don't forget that. For the other settings, you keep the same default uh, image. Of course, we need to see all images. We need to change the image to small disk size. So you need to search Windows Server. So in the Windows Server, click Select. You will see lots of small disk, which give you 64 gigabyte boot disk. By default, if you didn't choose small disk type image, they will give you 128, which is not meeting free tier service requirement. For this testing purpose, I'm going to use a small disk Windows Server 2022 data center version. Small disk, make sure. Size will be standard B1S, one virtual CPU, one gigabyte memory. Keep that in mind. So you have to use B1S. I'm going to use username, password. I'm going to use NetStack to log in. Allow RDP 389. Uh, of course, I have my own license. Next one is Premium SSD. You will notice here there's no option for you to choose the size. But remember, we will need to resize it after the VN has been created. It, you are not able to change the size here. So just choose type a Premium SSD. Next. Other things, keep default until to the end to create this virtual machine. It will take one, two minutes to get it done. I will pause the video here. Once it's finished, I will come back to continue recording the video. So VM has been created. Let's go to the source, small disk, Windows VM. Let's look at disks. You will notice the disk is only 30 gigabytes. So that's small disk, which gave to you. By default, if you didn't choose small disk, they gave you 128. Based on our service agreement from Microsoft, we can use 264 gigabytes P6. Not 30, not 128, 64 gigabytes. So we need to change that. To do that, we have to stop our VM first. Just click stop. Uh, don't reserve the public IP. 
don't choose this just else you will get the charge for your public IP address just let it go you don't need static public IP address VN has been stopped let's take a look at disks again here so there's an option for us to resize it if you click your disk as I did choose size plus performance at this moment we have P4 disk tier what we need is P6 click on P6 64 gigabytes you don't need to choose anything on uh, performance tier it will automatically populate it and then choose resize it then we got the uh, confirmation successfully updated disk now we can go back to our virtual machine click overview you want to check the disk size right now it still shows 30 but we know it we change it to 64. you may can refresh it and you get 64 gigabyte disk size so then that's pretty much everything for you to get a free windows virtual machine in your azure cloud and if you have student subscription you should be able to use it year after year as long as you have access to your edu email address there are actual steps we need to do after we logged in to our virtual machine in Azure Cloud in this kind of a VM size, one virtual CPU, one gig RAM, is it usable? Is how the performance looks like? You may wonder in that. So let's take a look on this kind of virtual machine. Let's log in. It may take a minute to get your VM created your profile. So you just need to be a little bit patient here. And after that, we have to increase our boot disk size from Windows Disk Manager. Right now we are using 64 gigabyte disk, but when we created it was only 32 gigabytes on a P4 disk type. Right now we are running on a P6 64 gig disk type. So we logged in. You may want to launch task manager to see the CPU utilization and memory utilization. You will notice the memory is almost used up. We gonna change the virtual memory for this machine right now it's only 1.5 gigabyte which is not able to get you to run most of applications even launch some built-in tools so to get your machine running more smoothly you will need to change virtual memory to much higher I usually suggest it go to at least 2.5 gigabytes. To do that, let's close the server manager. Go to system. Scroll down. Advanced system settings. Yeah, I'm going to adjust for best performance. Highlight. So total paging file size for all drivers is only 500 bytes. Well, we want more. So we do custom. I will get another 2 gig here. Set to OK. OK. 
Okay. Okay. You see, right now it's 3.5 gigabytes. Next change will be disk management. Going to increase our disk usage. So as you can see, as once we change our disk size, disk type to P6, there's 34 on a located disk for the C drive. Well, it's pretty easy to increase it. Just extend the volume to use those on a located disk size. Next, finish. So now you are using all. You are using all six four gigabyte for your C drive now. You can double check from File Explorer. The capacity for C drive is six four gigabyte, as you can see from here. So. Yeah, now you get the nice Windows 2022 virtual machine in your Azure Cloud. If you have student subscription, you can uh, have this virtual machine year by year for a long time. That's pretty much everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you for watching. Thank you.